In this program, we're going to um, use look at using arrays. We're going to write a program that can take in ten words, store them in an array, and allows a user to enter a word, and then say whereabouts that word appears in the array, if it's there. Um, assuming that the first element of the array is number one. So even though it's a array size zero index, we're going to say if the word's the first element in the array, we're going to say it's at position one. So first thing we need to think about is um, storing the numbers, sorry, storing the words in an array. So let's look at that first. I'm going to have to create myself some variables. So I'm going to create a, a variable. And I'm just going to call it um, i, and it's going to be an integer. Um, I'm going to uh, declare uh, assign that variable, and we're going to assign that to. Um, going to assign that to, to zero and we'll use that later to, to loop through the array. Now I'm going to create an array, so declare, I'm going to create the array um, my words, I'm going to make it a string, I'm going to make it an array and in Flowgrhythm like many languages or, um, arrays are fixed sizes. Python you can declare an empty array and then append to it and that's very unusual for programming languages. So there's my array. So now what we need to do is be able to add our words and we know there's going to be 10 so we can say here um, we can use this i to count through so I'm going to create a while loop I'm going to say while i is less than 10 and then this is the point where I'm going to take in a word and I'm going to um, add the word to the array so let's create a variable up here let's call it um, Let's call it word. Let's make it a string. And then in here, let's ask for a word. Please enter Oops. a word. And take in an input. Word, but we have to. Oops, that's not going into Word. It's going into my words, and it's going in at position i because it's being added into the list. I will be zero, so be the first one. One, two, three, four, and then so on. And then we need to increment i. So we shall assign uh, i to i plus one. Now, I've used a while loop here, could have just as easily used a for loop. The advantage of using a for loop instead would have been you wouldn't have needed the counter here, that would have all been um, part of the for loop, but either way is fine. So I'm going to, I'm going to now deal with the searching the array. This loads the array up with the, with the words. We're now gonna look at um, actually searching the array. So to search the array, I'm going to create myself another variable. I'm going to call it found. So I'm going to declare my variable. I'm going to do them down here so we can see them. So I'm going to create a, a variable called found. We're going to make that uh, boolean. I'm going to create a variable called call it string so we'll do declare and we'll call it uh, word to find that's going to be a string and then we need to ask for the word that we're going to look for so we'll take an input we'll do an output first please enter the word to find take an input in and that's going to be word to find. So the next job is to look at how we're going to find the word. So obviously the word's not been found yet. Oops, sorry, I'm not declaring anything. So we're going to need to assign find and found is going to be false because you've not found anything yet. So down here a little bit. 
and then we need to do a while loop. So we'll say while found is not equal to true. What we're going to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is have an integer. So we'll declare another variable here. And we'll call this find count. Make that an integer. And we'll have a for loop. And we'll say count starts at zero goes to nine increasing by one we'll have in here we'll have an if statement and we'll say if what do I call it my words at position find count is equal to word to find then we need to output found at position find count and I'm going to add one here so it looks like the first element is number one rather than zero and I'm going to just flick the find count to say I found a word so found and we're going to make that true okay so that should be it so let's have a have a look to see if this works we're loading up the array here got the words in we ask for the word while the words not found it's going to count 0 to 9 go through the list using that numbers if it finds it it'll say what position it is if it doesn't it will keep going round and then hopefully once it's done all nine it should come back here so I'll run it we'll have um, 2 B or not to be that is the question until we're defined I'm going to look for the word 2 and it found word 2 at positions 1 2 and positions 5 2 be or not 2 be there we go all done now, so all working nice simple program load up an array search through the array down here output the results thanks for watching there'll be another video shortly